so okay students uh, this is our second lab session and today we will see how to draw simplified representation for the external thread with side view then schematic representation for the external thread with side view and also for the internal threads this is a square nut of size 45 we will take major diameter is equal to 30 millimeters for all these uh, shapes so let's start drawing using the AutoCAD now because uh, we are using uh, millimeters so we'll be using the ISO V3 title block if you don't know how to start this one maybe I will close this window also and say start from the beginning open the new file so when you open the new file go to the sheet set and we have two templates here manufacturing imperial and manufacturing metric so when we are using the millimeters as a unit use this one otherwise when we are using the inches as a unit then we can use this one which was uh, for the first exercise which we did in the last class so today we will be using the manufacturing metric template open the template now this is your layout this is your layout you can see this is the title block information here and if you want to fill this information you can write the information here like suppose you want to write your name here you can just click on this attribute and write your name say Ahmed use all capital letters here Ahmed uh, say ID number is one two three four five six okay one two three four five six okay so it will appear here so we can use this title block to write your ID number or exercise number but when we create the drawing we should jump to this tab here the model tab and we create our drawing here so first we will draw the simplified representation with these parameters we will take major diameter is equal to 30 the distance from this up, upper line to the bottom line 30 and the threaded length up to here is 60 so we can assume total length is equal to 100 so let's start drawing the line say the first line is 100 millimeters I switch on the ortho here 100 millimeters this is your first line I'll zoom in a little bit so offset by 15 for the major diameter up and down so this is total now I'll show you the dimension also I'll try to control the dimension properties here uh, if I'm not satisfied with these properties of the dimensions like this one 100 fine and this is your major diameter which we take 30 so I offset by 15 half of 30 now I can draw a line here at the end thread length is 60 so offset by 60 from here now your minor diameter is here only up to this point here so what is the size of the minor diameter we have calculated minor diameter is 25.5 half of that will be we have to offset by half of that so let's use calculator so 25.5 divided by 2 so this is 12.75 offset by 12.75 on each side for the minor diameter I'm just drawing a small line here later on I can delete this small line so that I don't have to trim later on uh, let's do chamfer here now for chamfer this is chamfer command here in the modify chamfer I will use distance method type D first D for distance enter then select the distance I click here and I click here the system will measure the distance between the two points and that is my distance 1 because the chamfer is 45 degree the distance 2 value now it is asking me specify the second chamfer distance it is the same so I can just enter to accept the same distance as distance 1 distance 2 is equal to distance 2 because of the 45 degree angle for the chamfer so just click here just click here then repeat the chamfer on the other side here and here draw the line here now we have to draw the thread run out line here line starting point first is here now the thread run out line is making an angle of 30 degrees with this axis this axis see this is 0 degrees with the x-axis this is 90 degree with the x-axis this is say around 45 degrees with the x-axis this is 180 degrees with the x-axis I took measures the angle with the x-axis this is your x-axis orientation as you can see so I want to make from here 
back by 30 so 180 minus 30 that is 150 degree so I can say at the rate any length say 10 an angle of 150 this is 150 it is extra we can trim it later on whereas down here we can start from here first point it is 180 plus 30 you can say right so at the rate say length is 10 and angle is 210 which is 180 plus 30 then now you can trim that extra length of the line we are trim select all select object all these modify commands are asking you to select the object so I will say select all but the program is little bit dumb it is still asking me to select if you want to select anything more I will say yes I have finished my selection just press key enter key enter and now click on where you want to trim the objects okay now I will extend this here for the side view get the center line for the side view switch on the ortho align the midpoint with the intersection point to avoid any errors later on this is good habit then I will draw it now draw center diameter this is a center diameter is a major diameter say 30 and then again another one is center diameter minor diameter which is 25.5 diameter we'll close this because we don't want to talk about the head in this class in the next class we'll draw uh, the hexagonal headed bolt so today we just don't want to draw that one so we'll just close it here by an arc if you don't like you're not satisfied with the shape of the arc you can just change it later on so this is a three point arc command we are using three point first point of the arc click here second point of the arc click here third point of the arc here now these two are out one of them should be inside you can put it up or down doesn't matter and now inside this we should add the hatching lines section lines hatch and see 31 click here enter and that's it I will extend the line now and I will make these two lines as center lines I do not have the center line here so others load the center line click here and just type on the C to jump to the center line this is a center line with scale 1 this is center line with scale 0.5 and center line with double scale so I'll use the middle one which is 0.5 I like the smaller scale if I need I can increase it later on if that is not showing good center line okay fine this is a center line now what is remaining is we have to just trim this is external thread so external circle is complete inside one is an arc so just trim it I will just draw some line here for trimming inside somewhere just temporarily trim all enter enter trim this and you can delete these lines and that's it to show the dimensions the given dimensions this is your major diameter as you can see this is your major diameter 30 this is the thread length from here to the end 60 this angle here is 30 degree with the axis for the thread run out line and the angle at the end here this is 45 degree you don't have to show but let's see this angle also here 45 degree that's it moving on to the next one now now this is a schematic representation you can see the schematic representation is slightly different than the simplified representation so instead of thread run out there is no thread run out here and instead of this thin line these thin lines to represent the minor diameter we have these thin lines vertical here and the thick lines represent the uh, the crest and the thin lines represent the root the side view is same so we can do the same thing I can just copy the same to avoid the repetition repetitive work put it here you can do the same no problem I'll delete the dimensions for now see this can be deleted this can be deleted now this is your thick line say let's say this is 30 and show the line width this button will show or hide the line weight if I switch off it is hiding the line weight now it is showing the line weight uh, offset by the pitch the pitch is given as 6 millimeters so offset by pitch draw as many lines as you can draw here now for the minor or the crest here 
for to represent the minor diameter i'll offset by 3 first here this is a 3 here but this line is a thin line and make it by layer also this is only limited up to the minor diameter so reduce the length of the line up to minor diameter this is your minor diameter line so you can delete it now once you get the length as you can see in this there is no minor diameter line here right or even here uh, here right you can see there is no minor diameter line here no horizontal line here just we need that line to get the length of the the thin line we got it now now we can offset from that line offset by 6 now because the gap between the two roots also will be same 6 millimeters draw as many lines as you can fit within the given threaded length okay you can draw one more if that's it so this is the schematic representation for the external thread very simple very easy now we'll try to draw the schematic representation for the internal thread this is a square nut the nut size is 45 uh, we'll take this thread length as 60 like before okay so i can copy the same centers here and now for the square i'll draw polygon number of sides 4 for the square specify the center of the polygon just click here this is the center of the polygon c because it is circumscribed about the circle c and now radius see 45 is the diameter of the circle 45 is the diameter of the circle 45 is the side of the circle the total diameter so we have to get half of that 45 so it will be 22.5 radius okay 22.5 it is asking me to specify the radius 22.5 now if you take 22.5 you can see the size of the square now is 45 45 okay we have to take half that card is asking the radius the two circles inside for the major and the minor diameter center diameter major diameter is uh, 30 center diameter the minor diameter is 25.5 as we have calculated 25.5 now get the side view we said that okay the distance between the two views say any distance say 40 is the distance between the two views another 40 millimeters so from here i want to draw the side view so length of this is 60 this is 45 this is again 60 and go up by 45 this was just the specific distance between the two views we assume 40 you can take any number there no problem so this is your outer view for that now i'll draw one line here and we need now one line let us understand this we have to draw one line here which is representing the major diameter okay so offset by 15 major diameter is 30 offset by 15 from this so this is your major diameter fine now offset by 12.75 for the minor diameter also this is minor diameter here now this line can be deleted see this is one line from here to here we need which is representing the crest this is a thick line this is the thick line okay so this is representing the crest so offset this by 6 6 is the pitch the value of pitch get as many lines as you can by offset command offset it by 6 that's it the last one we need, don't need it here outline is there so i can delete this fine now we need the lines in between here right to represent the root so offset by 3 from this i can go outward and but this line is only up to the minor diameter so you can reduce the line length of the line you can also use stream command here and also this is a thin line so can you go by by layer now this should be that's it once you get the length of the line you don't need the minor diameter here in this case okay you can delete it and now you can offset it by six again so that you get the lines in the middle to represent the root so these thin lines are representing the root the threads root so the internal thread uh, that's it now in this area we have to draw the section lines hatch nc31 by default use nc31 that's it so we'll show some dimensions here this is 45 square size is 45 see 
this thread total length here is 60 this is given or we are assuming that uh, major diameter this is your major diameter okay let's show the major diameter and the minor diameter by the diameter command here in this uh, view okay so this is the major diameter okay and this is a minor diameter now let's see this is side view this is the external thread the external circle is complete and in the internal thread the internal circle this is the complete circle this is the dominant complete circle in the representation so we have to trim the outer one you can trim in any any quarter okay so at this time just for change i will trim it here in the top so trim or enter enter trim the outer line for the internal threads you can delete these temporary construction lines and that's it we have drawn the simplified representation of the external threads simplified representation sorry schematic representation for the external threads with the side view and this is the schematic representation of the internal threads and that's it for today